In this video, I will show you how to get a server name. If you've downloaded SSMS and you try to connect to a server and you notice you have no server name, which automatically doesn't allow you to connect to one, um, it's likely that you do not have SQL Server Engine installed on your system. So apart from having SSMS, you need to download SQL Server Engine. So you could either download the developer or the express. Let me show you how. So you go into your browser and you search SQL Server Downloads. I'm also going to drop the link to this site in the description below. So once you get here, all you need to do is you see SQL Server Developer and Express. So I'm going to download the Express. So that's downloading right now and that's about done, right? So I'm just going to click on it to install. Once it takes you to this installation type, just select the basic one. Go through all the license terms and agreements and select accept when you're done going through them. Right now, it's going to show the download size and I'm just going to click on install. All right, now that the installation is complete, all you have to do is you can see right now that you have, this is even telling you your, um, this is your server name, just this right part here. You can copy it, control C, or there is another way for you to get this. So you can go to system information on your system, system information and click open. Once you do that, you should see your system name. So 8DU9, let's just see, 8DU, the same thing exactly. So just copy this and then we're going to use this instance name as well. So now I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see here, it has no server name currently. I will paste what I just copied and then I will use a backslash and then I will type SQL Express, which is what we downloaded, right? Now, once that's done, I will change this to um, optional. I would tick this trust server certificate as well. And then finally, I will click on connect. So once you click connect, as you can see, you, you've connected to a SQL Server database now. Um, you might be wondering, would you need to go over this process again? No, once you want to reconnect again, it's going to show you the server name again. So I'm just going to show you that right now. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open it back. So I'm going to search. So I'm going to search SQL Server Management Studio again. It's up now again. And like I said, you can see automatically um, it has the server name. So you don't need to be doing that all over again. So once you've done the process, all you need to do is just connect the next time. And you can go ahead to write your SQL queries. If you have any issues carrying this out, you can drop um, your comment in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, you can leave a like. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.